What's up guys, welcome to this little quick video guide on texture types used in games. Particularly we're going to be focusing on stuff that is useful for 3D environments. So we're going to be covering three types of textures here. We're going to be covering UV unwraps, we're going to be covering tiles, we're going to be covering trim sheets. Some of these you may be familiar with, some not so. So let's start with the one you're most likely familiar with, the UV unwrap. The UV unwrap is best for individual characters, objects and props. And what we do is we take those little objects, like our little med kit here, we chop them up into pieces, we lay them out flat on our texture space, and we paint them. And that way they go in game and that texture is wrapped back around the 3D object. So, as we see, they're best for small, single use objects, uh, one texture per object, and they're the most common thing you'll see. Next, we're going to look at tiles. Now, tiles are less useful for single objects, but they are great for doing things like terrains or possibly the large building objects, large walls, things like that. Now, tiles are designed to be stacked sort of beside each other. Like tiles in your bathroom or your kitchen, your textures will be stacked beside each other, side by side, top to bottom, in rows and columns. So it's really important that when you make your tiles, you make them with very few unique or identifying features. Otherwise, you end up with this kind of effect where that feature itself is repeated over and over and over in the tiles and it makes the tiling really, really obvious. We don't want this. We don't want anything to take away from the realism or to break the illusion of this environment. So this is what we don't want. We do not want to see those unique features. We want to keep them nice and plain. And that way, although yes, they're a little bit less detailed, they're also less noticeable. And don't forget, these are going to be covered with foliage, plants, trees, objects, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you're not really going to see much of that underlying terrain anyway. We want to keep it nice and plain and simple. The third type then that we want to talk about is one that you're probably less familiar with, is the trim sheet. Now the trim sheet falls kind of halfway between a UV unwrap, halfway between a tile map. Why? If you look at the trim sheet, you see we have these horizontal stripes here, and they correspond with parts of our object. Now, these are best used for large environmental objects such as buildings, archways, castles, parts of walls, things like that. Stuff that would be too big to fit on a single UV uh, unwrap, uh, you would get very low resolution from them, but are too complex to fit on a single tile map, for example. So you can see here that each of these strips corresponds with part of the model. Now, I say these are like tiling textures because they in fact will tile horizontally. So we can uh, imagine that you can have these tiles going horizontally beside each other and they will connect seamlessly. And what this allows us to do is if we get a long strip of archway, we will unfold that and it doesn't need to fit on one single width of this tile. It can actually overhang from side to side and it will still fit on, gives a really nice neat texture and this allows us to use one texture for a very large piece of an object. Very, very useful for environmental details, very, very useful for things like corridors, and uh, very useful, very efficient, and it can also be used on multiple objects at once, which makes them very, very versatile. So that is a very quick overview of those three types of textures that we would apply in our game objects. Uh, mainly for environmental use. We haven't covered things like particles, we haven't covered decals, we'll cover those in a later video, and we'll go into these three types in more detail in other videos. This is just to give you a little overview. Hope you've learned something there. Thank you for watching.